at an even mile, the island trail is the longest trail in the park. Good news is, that's pretty flat, even terrain. It's pretty accessible for hikers of just about any ability. The trail has several access points to the lake. You get some different cool perspectives. You can see coves, you can see open water. There's even a panoramic view on one of the western points. Pretty cool place to take a dip uh, when the water's warm enough. Uh, also, when you're out on the trail, check out some of the trees. There's some pretty cool trees. There's a, there's a goblin tree. It's got his mouth open like some kind of uh, a fantasy character. There's a, we call it a bench tree. It has a nice flat level spot where you can sit on. It's kind of a cool photo op if you want to. Um, there's also a thicket of, of thorny devil's walking sticks. It's pretty cool to see so many of them around. Uh, and there's a couple big old hardwoods that have holes in a big nest cavity that various creatures over the years have called home. Now, speaking of creatures, keep your eyes open for snakes, armadillos, raccoons, squirrels, even flying squirrels have been seen, depending on when you come out and check it out. Speaking of which, if you come out in the fall and the winter, when you see the lake, be on the lookout for migratory birds and loons and ducks and eagles flying around. Really the key here is to take your time, look around, enjoy the trail.